So John, you ready for another long flight? He can't hear you. I'm ready. You ready? Stand next to him. Ridge. Hold it. This is probably one of the most endangered animals you will ever hold in your hands. This whole last week when I was here, we were talking about this. It's a pangolin and it's the most trafficked animal in the world. And you're very fortunate in your lifetime, I don't think you'll ever see one of these in the wild. It's an amazing, amazing animal. An amazing find this morning. My goodness. Just rolls itself to protect the man. Wow. to have you guys back. You know, every year we've been getting to new destinations, different species, and you know, Ridge, first safari you were that big, next one you were that big. Now you, you're nearly as big as John and I. <laughs> you are still you're trying, you're getting there. <laughs> okay, but yeah, we're in a different country entirely now. Decided to come to Zambia. We got Stasi, our Zambian PA, so we're looking after us this week, and we're on the banks of the Great Luanga River, so. Beautiful, massive river system, yeah, and yeah, we're gonna have a great week together. We always do, we always laugh a lot, we always um, make sure we, we take care of Ridgie and uh, give him a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be any different this time, so. Right. Yeah, we're gonna have a fun week together, so we're looking forward to it. smile and see yeah. okay. if you look here you see his spine yeah so just with this he smile and boom as soon as you shoot him there you put a second one right on his shoulder okay. you don't waste any time 
depending on the angle, I'll tell you how to, to shoot him if he's quartering on. If he's complete broadside, then it's just behind the smile right there. Right, okay. So you got, it's quite, his neck is quite thick. So you got a bit of room to Perfect. Put it. Okay. Sweet. Let's just try to keep it quiet, especially stepping. If they just hear all the birds go, then they know what is straight away. They're very, very sharp. Shoot again. Reload. Again. Where? In the neck. Same place. Where is it? Wait, Set I mean, I in front of his shoulder. In front of his right shoulder. The one splashing around. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Reload. Okay. Red you, Wiley, crocodile dandy. <laughs> 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 I counted Shit. when you guys were sitting in the tree there. I counted 38 crocs. Fuck, there is a lot. <laughs> 38 <sighs> crocs around there. <sighs> Alright. Yeah. We'll be cheating again. Thank you. <laughs> well done. You are crocs at 200 yards is not, not something people do every day, but you can do it, brother. It's all done. Getting a little nervous there. I was like, gosh, is that a scar or is that the end of the smile? <laughs> no, yeah, a bit tough it. with the yeah. shadow side. Uh -huh. Yeah. But John and I were standing just behind and watching this big croc feed. Then, like, my goodness, it's just no shot, no shot. We've got a team of guys headed to collect our crocodile, which Put a bite bait out yesterday afternoon, uh, looking for a crocodile for Ridge. Came back today around 10, saw a bunch of crocodiles on the banks, uh, looking for the right one. Uh, we spotted this guy right across and laying on the middle island, so we did a small stalk in. Uh, Ridge got down and made a perfect uh, brain shot there and dropped him in his tracks. All done, good Thank shooting. You. John's Stasi saw it looked like a very big body bushback ram walking across in his thick shirt. Let's just walk up there, he might pop out by the road. Good shot. He's getting jump up like a <laughs> cartwheel. Good job, John. Good cheer. Thank you. Well, that is a choby bushwhack. 
It's beautiful to complement your cape push like we already got. We saw that ram coming. You can see he had a big body, thick yeah. neck, but never beautiful. really got a look at the horns. And we whistled, he turned and looked. It's not the prettiest shape ram, but he's a long ram. Pretty big body. But you're going to see now how different is the cape pushback. Bright colors, yeah. white markings. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good stuff. Beautiful. So we wish back. Nice bases, length, all worn down tips. Beautiful color to him. That's awesome. Look at that. Thank you, Stasi. Well done, guys. Well done, Custom, for Thank spotting you. that one. <laughs> nice thick neck ram. It's yeah, a beautiful look at that. ram. Big base of neck. Yes. All good thing. length on him, everything. He had a plan. We sat there by the bait. We went there at dark, got set up, and we knew it would be tough to get a shot. Rizzo came in right at dark, and we weren't really sure. We thought we heard a connection, but we weren't really sure. And uh, came a bit back into this Mpani scrub and found your glorious, monstrous hyena. So, good job, mate. And this is high on your priority. Wonderful hyena, and uh, good job by everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Dex.
Come, go on. We're going in our hopefully not submarine. <laughs> With our bridge, will have to wait here. We got a, We got at least a 78 horsepower engine. <laughs> I'll just swim. We're gonna get on the plane, yeah. You bring your wakeboard. I should. Sure. <laughs> See the difference there, the thickness of that bull's neck compared to those cows there. Eh? Oh, that's a proper puku. Well, John, a truly world-class puku. Tell you what, uh, Stasi moved faster than uh, I think Usain Bolt when he put his binos on this one, quickly got the sticks and started going after him. Um, and it's definitely the best one we've seen. You know, it's super thick. As soon as we looked at this bull, you could see his big neck and everything and just a magnificent specimen. So, yeah, Stasi quickly got the stick so I was like, come John, we're going now. <laughs> so yeah, got it out, got the sticks up and um, I heard you saying you, you it happened so fast you didn't have time to crank the scope in. Left it on two and a half power and perfect shot on the shoulders. So magnificent Puku and yeah, it's like Stasi was telling us um, one of only two places, basically the Luanga Valley in Zambia and then one spot in Tanzania where you can um, hunt the Puku. So a very much a rarity and basically looks like a little cousin of the lecture that we've hunted together before. So, awesome animal and what a glorious morning and a glorious hunt out this morning. Yeah, thank you everybody. It was, it, it happened fast, but it was, uh, we got the result we wanted, so it was awesome. Thank you. Pleasure, man. Well done, John. Good shooting. Thanks. Well, Red. John, we've come to the end of our time in Zambia. It was a safari of a very different nature from what we've done in the past. We came, we pursued some very different species that we haven't been able to hunt before. And down in the Eastern Cape, we don't have them. So it's an interesting change of scenery, change of, of habitat, and different style of hunting. So we got your main species done, Ridge. We hunted really hard for a uh, gray spike, but came up short. Um, but yeah, different experience and yeah, our full safari behind us and another great adventure together. Thank you so much, it was a great experience.